Hey guys, so this is going to be part five of our hip bump sweep series. We're going to go on part a million in a minute. So we start here in the hip bump sweep. We're going to go over the hip bump sweep again. This time I'm giving you kind of a cool variation that I like to do, which is I like to control this sleep. When I have control over this sleeve and my partner decides to posture up this way to get away from me, what I like to do is sit up and I go for my hip bump sweep. I'm going for it as a way to initiate a bow and arrow choke. So I'm going to bump him and pull his arm past me this way. Now obviously there's a lot of stuff I can do. I could try to just pivot around to his back this way, but I think a little fancy sometimes. So I'm going to come around. I'm actually going to get his lapel here for my collar choke, and I'm just going to kind of do that same Gramby roll through here, right there into my bow and arrow choke, squeeze and finish. One more time. So we're starting again right here. This time I'm dominating his sleeve grip right here, and he decides to posture up. When he postures up, I sit up and I punch this past. I reach around and grab his lapel, and then I'm just gonna tuck underneath and finish right here. Notice I like to finish with my leg across in a kind of a triangle choke position. That way I can come back to my arm lock, and if he decides to come up at me, I lock and go to my triangle, or I can just thread the shin over, kick him in the face on purpose, and then finish with the arm lock there. So, one time live speed, hip bump sweep to bow and arrow choke, Dominate the sleeve, sit up, bump, pass, roll, and finish our bow and arrow choke. Thank you. We'll see you for part six, maybe.